Hi all. In this lecture, we will be talking about Simaki survivorship rules. So once we have defined our match and merge policy, we need to think about how do we want to consolidate our data. So a survivorship rule is only valid for fuzzy matched or ID matched entities. And it describes how our golden values are computed or calculated. So you can have the consolidation at the attribute level between two records or you can do the consolidation at the record level itself. It is composed of two parts. One, a consolidation rule, which tells us how do we consolidate values from two matched records from different source systems, which is detected by your match algorithms into a single golden record. And the second is an override rule, which defines how values authored or changed by users from the user interface override the consolidated value in the golden record. So there are a few strategies which comes out of the box uh, for defining your survivorship rules. First is custom ranking. Here you will use SEMQL expression based on your needs. So you can uh, create your custom conditions to define your survivorship rule. Let's say if case A um, meets the criteria, then you mark your CRM over your marketing. Or else if case B is met, then you mark marketing over your crm kind of those conditions second consolidation strategy is largest or smallest value so here for example if we say largest or if we pick largest consolidation strategy mozart is larger than beethoven it's simply because m comes after p in alphabetical order and if we talk about longest or shortest then mozart is shorter than beethoven it's simply because uh the characters in Mozart is lesser than Beethoven. We can, we can choose most frequent value, the first most frequent non-null value from the source systems, or we can choose preferred publishers, which is where you define the publisher's uh, order. So you can give for attribute first name, CRM preference over marketing uh, source system. Let's say if you have got two systems, or for address, you can choose marketing system over uh, your CRM system. Again, this depends on where, which source system you are relying more. Let's move to the next slide. Here we'll talk about the override strategy. So the override rule defines uh, an override strategy of how to override the consolidated values with values authored by the user. So if business user or data steward wants to change a consolidated value which they are seeing, what are the rights uh, given to them and how can they change it? So the first strategy is always authored in MDM. So if this has been chosen uh, for an attribute, then that value um, will always be null from the consolidation rules. Only the user from the front end will be able to populate it. Till the time someone actually populates this attribute uh, from the front end, this value will stay null. Second is no override. This is where your consolidation rule takes power and once the rule consolidates a value in for any attribute, no one can change it from the front end. Third is override until consolidated value changes. So this one is where your consolidation happens from your source system. Then someone tries to change it from the user interface that takes power or precedence. And once again, if your source system changes the value and sends it back to MDM, then that value will take precedence over the last overridden value by the user. So it's, it's kind of a change after change, which is accessible. And the last one would be override until next user changes. So this is where the consolidation happens at first. And then someone from the user interface changes, uh, that value, but your source system now won't be able to change it again. Only the user from the front end will be able to change it further again and again. So all these things are mentioned in detail in the Simaki documentation as well. If you want to go and search for survivorship, you can find it very easily. So I'll, I'll again recommend to go through the strategies for consolidation as well as override strategies in survivorship. And the last thing is ID survivorship rule. So this is automatically available in your survivorship component of your data model. So this rule does not have an override strategy. It only defines which source ID is the winner in the golden record. So let's say a data steward creates a new contact and links it to the golden customer or an existing customer. 
Later, that customer is split into two customers because of overmatching. Now, which new customer the contact now belongs to? This will be defined by IT survivorship rule. So the contact follows the winning source ID. Moving to the next slide, we'll talk about publishers now. So publishers are basically your source systems and they are only valid for ID matched or fuzzy matched entities. So your publishers could be your applications like CRM, sales, marketing, web channels, etc. The publisher does not represent the technical provider. So let's say there, there will always be an ETL layer um, between your source system and your master data management system. So the ETL could be Talon, Informatica, IBM, Pentaho, anything. But this uh, publisher doesn't mean that ETL layer. It always means your actual source systems. Your consolidation rules depend on your publishers as well. So we briefly talked about uh, your Consolidation strategy where we had got a pub preferred publisher option as well that will use these publishers So to define your consolidation strategies, you need to define your publishers first and You do not need to define a dedicated publisher for data author directly in the generated application so you will have your um, So systems like CRM web channels, etc Which will send data to master data your consolidation rule applies to that then you will have your golden data now if someone from the front end wants to change it they have to manually change it by user interface so you can create a source system for your manual uh, changes uh, or for data entry changes from the front end or otherwise you can still leave it without creating a source system for the front end because this data is automatically identified by the system as authored by users so simagi has a capability to understand that it has been changed from the front end and not via any source system itself. Let's create the publishers now. So if I go back to Simaki XTM, here in model design, we can see we have got publishers here. So if I right click and click on add publisher, I can give the name, code, etc. So let's give it name of CRM. We'll click finish. We can add description as well now. So this is CRM system. We'll save this. We'll click again on publishers because we want to add one more source system and I'll give it as name of MKT. So I'll click finish and the description will say this is a marketing system. We'll save this. So now we have got two publishers. So now let's create the survivorship rules. So if I expand the entity section, double click on customer, I'll click on survivorship rules here. And now we can see we have got two rules by default. So the first one is ID survivorship rule, for which we talked about in our presentation. And the second one is default rule. So this default rule, uh, would be applicable to all the attributes in your entity. If in case you want to have certain rules for specific attributes, you can define those survivorship rules. So basically you can define one survivorship rule per attribute, or you can define one survivorship rule for a group of attributes how, and how you want to address it. Uh, all the other attributes for which you haven't defined your survivorship rules will be addressed by this default. So if we open this default rule, we have got name, label, we can have description, documentation. This checkbox tells that it is a default rule. Now you can add the attribute for which you want to apply this uh, default rule as well by clicking here. We'll cancel it and then scrolling down here is the consolidation strategy. So if we click on this drop down, we can see there we have got all those out of the box uh, consolidation strategies that we discussed in our presentation. For this, I'll select the preferred publisher. And now the, we have to assign the, the order in which those preferred publisher will take precedence. So if I click this select publishers, I'll choose these two and then click add all. So now if I click finish, this order that CRM is before MKT, this means that CRM will take precedence over your marketing system. 
for all the attributes which for which you do not define any rule so the ranking expression you can define your order by clause etc as well uh, for example if you have two same similar records in your crm system you can define the order by date or higher or you know the the system entry date kind of those things so we'll cancel this and this skip null. So in case CRM um, attribute is null, but you have got the value populated in marketing system, this will help there. So if we click skip nulls, then even if CRM is taking precedence over a marketing system, if that value coming in CRM is blank or null, still MKT or marketing value will be populated in the golden record. So coming down the override rule. Now we already talked about this in our presentation. So I'll select override until consolidated value change because I don't want to restrict this field scrolling up we'll save this rule so our first default rule is now set now we'll go back to the survivorship rules and I'll create another rule so let's give it name of name email phone so this won't be a default rule so we'll click finish now i'll add attributes for which this rule has to be executed so i'll select name mobile email add and then finish so if i scroll down I'll choose preferred publisher again and in our default rule we have chosen CRM over marketing here I'll give marketing preference over CRM so the order will be reversed here so if I click finish we can see that we have got marketing first and then we have got CRM I do not have any ranking expression I'll click skip nulls and in the override rule I'll say override until consolidated value changes now if we scroll up we'll save this so now we have got two rules so if we go back to customer click on this drop down and then go to survivorship rule so we have got our default rule and then we have got our name email and phone so only your first name last name email and phone will be addressed by this all your other attributes like your occupation and address should be by default be uh, under the scope of this default rule consolidation strategy so now we have got our publishers and survivorship rules. Thank you.